Boom, oh, and boom. You keep one weak part and one strong part. Boom, right. that's it. Simple as that. Then you just <laughs> rinse and repeat. You do the same shit over. Ain't nothing special. If you can't make English muffin pizzas, you're a fucking idiot <laughs> and you're useless. Welcome to On The Child. I'm your host, Tragedy Gaddafi. Along with my co-host, Mr. A. What up, what up? Parrot on the chow. The guest comes through and makes their signature dish just for you. Food for thought. Real conversation. Y'all make sure y'all do the dishes on the chow. Let's go. All right. We on the chow right now. I'm your host, Tragedy Gaddafi. With my co-host, Mr. A. What up? We got no other than the gorilla names. Yeah. In the bit, no, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. For Gorilla Bites, man. Yeah, fuck Boom. your life, fuck your lunch. <laughs> That's it, man. It's... Fuck your life, man. Uh, fuck your lunch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can work with that. Yep. So we're going to get into some Gorilla Bites. We're going to talk to Nams. Yeah. We're going to see what Nams is about. Been looking forward to this. Me too, man. We've yeah. been playing this for months, too. Facts. You've been holding on, too, man. Yeah, man. You've been, you've, been, you've been with me, man. You've been in sync with me, man. Yep. You're actually on the new album, too. Absolutely. On my joint. That's, yo, that's one of my favorite joints that came out so far this year. I did a lot of features with other people. I don't really listen to them. Yeah, That yeah. shit I play all the time. I'm not just mm. saying that because I'm here. That factual, shit is factual. fire. Yo, your verse is crazy. Likewise. Your verse is crazy. Your work ethic is crazy. Likewise. But I kind of want to circle the block right now. 100%. Let's get yeah. it. Coney Allen. Coney Allen, man. You from CI, Coney Allen, right? The mayor of Coney Allen, man. You the mayor? I'm the mayor. All right. I'm known on every block and every building, on every floor, mostly every door. Mm. Every door? Good, bad, but mm. lately mostly good. All right. You, but you're doing good right now, man. You're doing mm. real good. Actually, and I said, actually, I, I've been on the gram several times and commended you on your grind and, mm -hmm. and, and your whole push right now um, with the merch and everything. Like, I respect the grind, man. But you came out of the battle aura, the battle arena. Yes. Um, a lot of artists, at least from the battle arena, few of them, if any, made the transition into the mainstream type of game. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. How you feel about that, man? Um, I always use the battle shit just to get my name known. Like, when I... I started doing this shit musically, and it just so happens that my, when I, my first rhyme I wrote was like geared towards battling, but I wasn't a battle rapper. It was just like, I always did music, but I knew the battle shit was, was what would get my name known. You know what I'm saying? So I used that Smart. as a vehicle to get on quicker yeah. than the average man, but I always, in my mind, knew it was going back to rap. I was killing dudes with battle raps that I was using from songs. I would battle dudes with, Shit I used on my songs, and mm. it just so happens that, you know, that's how I got to start. You rep Coney Allen hard body, man. Yeah. Hard body man and Cotty. Um, I have to because you know why? Because Big Jay-Z, Brooklyn's Finest. Let, let me do the interview. I was going to ask you. I was going to, listen, yeah. man. Listen, you too big for that, That was that was You're a big guy, man. Listen, no, but I, I was going to ask you that because, you know, when Big and Jay made Brooklyn Finest, mm -hmm. they didn't mention Coney Island. They didn't say that at all. Why nobody really mentions Coney Island? Because everybody got robbed when they came out there. And it's two things. It's, it's When you look at it, when you think it's Coney Island and you're not from New York, you think it's just the rides, right? Mm -hmm. But that's, when you get off the train station, there's the rides. But then there's a whole neighborhood, three avenues, 21 blocks, and... A lot of people's favorite rappers would come out there and get robbed. Whoever and, changes. Them. Yeah. Whoever changes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I used to live in Rockaway, Queens. And Almost that, a, See, yeah. I always kind of remind me of Rockaway. Tax. Where it would have like, it always felt like a one way in, one way out type of That's situation. Just, That's what it is. Literally, if you go yeah. off the train, you can't go to the end of Coney Island and get out. You have yeah. to go this in out the same way you came in. Yeah. So it is one way in, one way out. Yeah, that's same shaky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like it like that. I feel you, massage parlor. But listen, <laughs> um, let's get into this music, man. Like like I said, interesting you coming out the whole battle arena, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and making that transition. I'm hearing joints, I'm listening. You got bars, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But. A lot of people might feel like your balls are mostly shock value. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it comes from the battle arena, so I was doing the most disrespectful. I was known as the most disrespectful. I like that. I like that. If I'm battling you, I want to disrespect everything about you. I want to make you feel this small. You know what I'm saying? When I'm done with you. Pause. But I want you to just feel like... <laughs> <laughs> no 
no freaky. Yeah. No freaky. <laughs> I want you to just feel like you just got shit at all. You know what I'm saying? If we battling. But the later albums that have been dropping now, it's like, all right, people know I can rap. Right. So now it's about making actual music and, and getting that point across because that's what I've been doing all the time. And, and I'm from an era from, I grew up on legends like you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and and I just make what I wanna make. I don't I don't make songs for clubs. I don't make songs to get on. I make songs that I like. And I'm just when I was coming up, y'all was the ones putting out the firest music. And I'm just keeping that tradition going. Simple as that. No doubt. Now you say fuck your life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the most part, to me, it's not really fuck your life. Like, you taking your life serious, my guy. You Absolutely. stopped drinking. Yeah, I stopped everything. You stopped everything, yeah, yeah, my yeah. guy. What was you? What was, what was I was you? doing, um, see, it started when I was younger. I See, I'm from Coney Island, but in my high school years, I went to high school in Staten Island. PA. To Poconos. Yeah, yeah. So, out there, I was doing Xanax before any of the... And in Staten Island, I learned about Xanax. Nobody in the hood was doing that. Nobody knew what the fuck it was. But all the white dudes in Staten Island and all of that, they was on them pills type of shit. Ecstasy before rappers was talking about all of that. And then uh, when I moved back to Coney Island, I started getting high, sniffing coke, doing all types of shit. I mean, I never used needles. I never smoked crack. But everything else, I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, And um, it took me to places where I had given up on my music shit. Like, I was just like... That became my everyday. Robbing, stealing, getting high became my everyday. And then it came to a point where, like, I had given up on the music. And I was mm-hmm. like, I had to make the change or else I was going to die or I was going to be in jail for the rest of my life. And I had to man the fuck up, man. It's either man up or fucking and perish. How, how long ago was that? That was so 2009, 11 years ago. Mm. 11 years ago. Let's get a, let's get a yeah. fucking round of applause for that. That's a, 11 years is Yes, that's that's actual, actual. Actual. and since Definitely then I haven't plus. smoked any weed, I haven't had a drink. And most I do is I just recently stopped smoking. So I smoked a little vape tobacco shit, you know what I'm saying? But that's about it. Good that, shit, good everything shit. is not for everybody. Like, I can't smoke weed. I used to love it, but yeah. I can't smoke that shit anymore. It makes me, gives me anxiety. Yo, you listen, I mean? weed I can't is do like, it. of course, would I love to sit back with my girl and smoke a joint and watch a movie? Yes. Right. But I know... That since I stopped everything, why even jinx it? Right. What what's saying that if I if I smoke a little joint, my, 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 my let me go take a bump. Yeah, let me go right. do it. Why even fuck with it? If I've right. been doing it this long and yeah. things, and this it shows in the progression is just like, yo, like since I've stopped, life has gotten up here. You okay. know what I'm saying? Right. So why even chance it? Mm-hmm. I, mean, I don't I even want to chance it. I see you too. I see yeah. you too. And it's like. Again, like I gotta, I gotta, I gotta come back to the munch game. Like you been chilling on it. What you making the money on that? <laughs> good amount. Okay. Good amount. Right. 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 Better than rap. Really? Way better than rap, man. But the rap is the avenue. You know what I'm saying? It's like the platform. Like, exactly. It's the so commercial. without that, it's, commercial. it's like the yin and yang. It wouldn't be this without that. It's the commercial. Absolutely. But uh, thank God for the merch. And, that, and that, that came out of being broke. Like, yo, I put out one hat. I made a hat in China. It came. It sold out 50 hats. And I said... The shorty I was with at the time was like, yo, instead of spending that money, why don't you just do the same shit? So I got exactly. another 50 hats from China six months later, and then it just took off on its own, and then it just became every. I just stayed consistent with it. Exactly. And how do you you come up with all the designs? Everything. Like, everything is- I do, everything. The only thing I don't do, I have my man that I tell him what I want, he brings it to life on the computer, yep. and I just send it to my peoples, and then, you know. You, you see it, and you have him... Yeah, every week we drop something new. Every week, it's just consistency. The Mason Ring one you did with the yeah, that yeah, shit was fire. So, <laughs> yeah, so in the fucking blade. That so shit was from fire. what I see is like you basically make what you want to wear. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And I and 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 it it's quality shit because I'm not gonna. I don't want to put out shit that I wouldn't wear myself. And I see a lot of shit that other artists make. Not shitting on them, but I'd be like, yo, I wouldn't make that. I wouldn't even wear that. You know what I'm saying? It's like some iron on shit. I'd be like, yeah, I wouldn't wear that myself, so why would I put that out? You know what I'm saying? So everything gotta be quality. Everything's embroidered. Everything is like top quality shit, man. I see that. Speaking of top quality, we should jump into this shit. You wanna jump into this? You wanna jump into the Gorilla Bites? Yeah, top well, quality, man. Going. This is top this, quality. This is, this is one of those meals, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, like, I, there's a lot of ways I relate to you. I gotta share this. This is one of those males when you was a little dude on your own. 
and and this was something that you could get too easy and get it in. Facts. My you just stay to, with it. Stay with it. My mom used to. That's, make that's one of the meals, right? Yo, when I was little. We ate these all the time. Listen, my mom, my, that, yeah. my pops died when I was four. My mom was always out the house. She was either working or she was doing other shit. And I was always at the crib by myself. So it was Chef Boy or D, or it was this. You know what I'm saying? And you don't still eat Chef. You're getting some change. You know? I got Chef Boy or D in the crib. <laughs> I'm not nah. going to front. I haven't eaten it. I haven't eaten it in like a year because I'm not going to front. It tastes funny now. They try to put some vegetables in it. Like, get out of here. Stop trying to make Chef Boy Stop trying to make Chef Boy or D. I hate vegetables, man. Yeah, I hate vegetables. I'm the most picky eater that ever been on the show. All I eat is pizza and, and fast food and only plain burgers. I don't eat cheeseburgers. Just plain burger in the bun with ketchup. That's it. I think it's like a... um. Uh, 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 a food disorder. Some some girl I was with, she was like, yeah, you know, that's a food disorder, right? That you only eat plain burgers and you only eat, you don't eat no vegetables. That's like a food disorder. I was like, get the fuck out of here. But they said some shit, but I don't think that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that, man. Listen, um, let's get to the piece of bikes. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I was joking, I was joking. Let's get into the piece of bikes, the gorilla bites, actually, and come back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah break bread, you heard? Yup. Bing bong. Boom! Cool. All right, so we back now on the child. Yeah. Tragedy yeah. Gaddafi, co-host Mr. Ack. What's up? Gorilla Nems. Yeah. Fuck your life. Fuck Gorilla your life. Bites. Gorilla Bites. Gorilla Bites. Shit is exciting, man. Shit is so simple. Like, the way your, your balls is and, and how you make motion right now, I would think that you would actually make a much more Intricate, complicated meal. Nah, man, we keep it simple. All right, okay, That's it. okay, all right. So what we got here, bro? All right. First of all, y'all gotta know that we do it on the raw table, right? We don't worry about diseases. We don't worry about Corona. <laughs> like, listen, yo. I fuck everything raw. You know what I'm saying? I leave it in God's hands. Yo. So if I do that. You think I'm gonna care about my food being on the table? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is how you do it. You split the bag with the knife. Boom. Let's go. Who you opens it regular? Yo, you're a Viking. Yo, because we're gonna eat all of these anyway. Like, I'm not worried about saving this later. Right? So this is just, me personally, I don't I don't know what the fuck this shit is. And I don't like it. So what I do is I go over the sink, right? And I take it, I take it off. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck it is. So boom. Boom, you clap it, right? <laughs> Boom. Then, <laughs> why y'all fuck? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> don't, you don't know what it is. Like, yo, I don't know what I'm putting. This might be gluten. You make me question them. They must know for now. Yo. What is this? Who can tell me what this is? <laughs> Frosty type shit? Yeah, man. Yo. Who All right, wait a minute. I'm, I'm fucking dying. dying. I got to ask you. What is that? Yo, what's this? What's this? This is the special, you know, like in, um, um, the, the chef show, they be like, yo, what's the secret ingredient? <laughs> right? This right here. Listen. Yo. My, my last girl, I forgot to give her the plan B until two weeks later. <laughs> she shitted this out. I put I it in a jar. I don't know if I eat your gorilla <laughs> bites no. So I keep it there for inspiration. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me know. I feel like Always I'm Always buy plan B. Right so now I got a whole oh, drawer full of plan shit. B's in the crib. So I just go crazy. You know what I'm oh, saying? Shit. My pullout game is horrible. <laughs> but I don't got no kids because I keep playing B's. All right, just for, for everybody to know, this is not going to be a, a piece of bites. Don't, you don't put this in a piece of bites. This is just for inspiration. He made a mistake. He wasn't on point. Yeah, it's just for inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Inspire right, yourself. All right, keep going. So look, in, English muffins, they already what got the shit. You know what I'm saying? They already got the, the, the line. Slit. So you take a serrated blade. Make sure it's serrated. I think this is what this is called. Look. What simple. is that called? I've I never even heard that. What does serrated mean? I don't know, but I, it sounds fire. <laughs> it sounds fire. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Boom oh, and boom. You keep one weak part and one strong part. Boom. That's it. Simple as that. Then you just rinse and repeat. You do the same shit over. Ain't nothing special. If you can't make English muffin pizzas, you're a fucking idiot. And you're useless. <laughs> Straight up. Oh, uh, shit. Yo, I feel like I smoked weed right now. I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm fucking so, All right, so we split the muffin. We split the muffin. Listen, we'll get to that later. <laughs> we'll get to that later. I need a spoon. You need you a spoon? spoon? Yeah, boom. Oh, Over there, Trace. Right, right here? Yep. Okay. Yo, I'm, I'm, this good enough for you? Or nice. 
Let me rinse it off. Let me rinse it off. Nah, we don't rinse these shits off. Keep it filthy. <laughs> All right. Keep it filthy. Then, listen. Any sauce will do. Sometimes really gorilla bites. Yeah, sometimes I buy sauce that I never tasted before just to get surprised when I make it. You know what I'm saying? Might be good, might be bad. But pizza is like sex. Even when it's bad, it's good. It's still good. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. So you take you take a nice little spoon, bing bong. Mm. I can already tell I don't like this sauce because it got <laughs> onions in it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like no vegetables in my shit. You gotta spread it around. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it just smells like Subway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, all right. Boom, you spread it around, bing bong. That's what we doing. Make sure it's on every thing, boom. Then you take the bag, polio. You know what I'm saying? Back in the days, you see the string cheese? Yeah, yeah. She was banging. Factual. So I only fuck with polio, you know what I'm saying? Already shredded. Exactly, already we'll shredded. Free rate like here. my brain. You know what I'm saying? Already shredded. Boom, you take it, hit it like salt bay. <laughs> Boom. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah man. You got cheese, you got cheese everywhere. Be yeah, alright. We got a butler. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm Boom. You're done. That's <laughs> all it is. Boom. Pepsi, if you drink Coke, you against the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't even sell Coca-Cola in the hood. Do they? Am I lying? Yeah, they do. No, they don't. They only sell Pepsi. They only sell Pepsi? In Coney Island. <laughs> they only sell Pepsi. Okay, so let's make a couple. Let me get the tray out. Let's go. For you, go ahead. Yo, mm -hmm. shit, got me dying, yo. We got two <laughs> trays for you. Two trays. Brand new. But we just we can just make a bag. We can just make a bag. Make one make Yeah, one make bag. one bag. Yeah. Boom. We can put this over here. Let's go. This guy, man. Boom. He said, I don't care what's on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, let's move it out the way, boy. Yeah. Man, it's over for you. Man. And you play some delicately. You know All what I'm right. saying? Play Boom. some delicately on the tray. Boom. That's no, one. No oil or nothing. Just nothing. Not stick it in your toast. Raw up. dog. You know what I'm saying? Do everything raw dog. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in God's hand. That's it. Leave it in God's hand. You know what I'm saying? What will be, will be. Oh, man. <laughs> follow oh, shit. You got, follow you got his lead. lead. At, yeah. So you follow his lead. There we go. But wait, At knows how to make those, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my mom, used, my mom used to make these all the time back in the day. We, I can I tell that's a hood meal. You was, in, you, was, you, was, you, was, you was out on your own at times. Yeah. And you had to like, do that, man. That's crazy. That's how I learned to make steak. Sometimes I might have two bags of these, you know what I'm saying? Damn, we do that shit quick, bro. Yeah, we get, I'm getting it. Yo. Getting it. Good shit. Sometimes I have two bags. I only eat, you know, one one English muffin thing. I leave this. I won't feel like having these again for like another two weeks. So I get them. Sometimes they got a little mold on them. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Just rip those pieces off. They're not going to kill you. Rip the mold off? Yeah. You rip the mold off. It makes your stomach strong. You're a grease ball. Yo, <laughs> that's what you got to do, man. You're willing them to that's why all these... Listen, if you, got food if you got food allergies... I'm not fucking with just that. Just eat a little mold, bro. Your stomach's going to fucking be good. Stop I being pussy. Listen, <laughs> listen, I don't advise that. We at on the shower. We don't advise you to rip the mold off. Sometimes it'd be a little mold on the cheese too. Just take those strands out. What if a roach got in the back? Keep, if it, a green roach, Keep it green berry. If a what if a roach got in your back? Depends how hungry I am. Actually, I respect that. <laughs> I don't want to have to walk I, I respect that. He and it might be two in the morning. I'm not going to the store. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? It might be an after, after sex meal. You might need a little snack. You know what I'm saying? You might be butt naked. You ain't trying to go to the store. You know what I'm saying? You After you hit raw. Of course. What other way is there? Uh, Condoms are made by the devil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Oh, man. Let's get back to this pizza bite. <laughs> oh, man. This is I never met a condom I liked. <laughs> Pause. Hey, yo. You all right, though? Hey, hey yo. yo, yo, yo. Is everything all right, though? You good? Everything is good. I'm marvelous. I'm all gracious. Right, okay. What about you? You got to watch it out here. I'm hanging in there, oh, baby. <laughs> Listen, what we doing, man? We having fun, man. We all time, fun. all time. Yeah. Hell yeah, this is fun. Speaking of having fun, man, I looked at your battles, man. Yeah. How serious are those battles, yo? The old ones. Sometimes, ones? I'm a, uh, not yeah, because yeah, no, yeah. Battle, Like, you know, we, we lyricists. Yes. That's why we can do joints together. We lyricists. So, mm -hmm. 
it's there with me, but I just couldn't take. Uh huh. That's what everybody says. I, I, it just I, yeah, yeah. How serious is that? Is it like wrestling? Uh, it's a hundred percent like wrestling. Um, is it WWE? A hundred percent because you go see when I was doing the battles, it was the Fight Club shit. So it was like we didn't know who we was battling. They would just call your name and call the person you battling to the table. And ran- randomly. Yeah, the, and then random. Again. So it wasn't like any animosity. It was just like, yo, my bar is better than yours. But now, what it's become today is more like, I, like for instance, the only, the only new generation battle I did was with Head Ice. I fucked with Head Ice. I, I, seen, I, I seen that. We, we watched it, yeah. yeah. I seen that battle. I seen that battle. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, like. Crazy. He, it seemed like it got serious. Um, it kind of, it was like weird because before that didn't seem like WWF. No, because look, when they told me, Nems, we want you to battle. I was like, I was like, yo, Head Ice looked like he want to fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he want to take this shit to head off. See, huh? but see, but the thing is, behind the scenes is different because like in person it could seem one way, but off the scene, I'm not saying nothing about Head Ice, but that was that battle was in Boston. My man's came in three Sprinter vans. Deep. We was so, we was ready to some rape shit thrown at him. Like? Um, from what I heard, it was like a, a, some rape shit thrown at him, but it was acquitted. You know what I'm saying? But that all I had to grab onto was the line. Right. Yo, you got arrested for rape. You dirty. I'm not battling. You know what I'm saying? Listen, but, but no, listen. To it, keep it, we're not shooting at Head Ice. Head Ice is the man, and I apologize to him after that. the battle. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? I respect because that. I said some shit about his mom. You know I respect that. That's, that's you know keeping saying? the culture um, gracious. I respect that. But I, I keep it real. After that battle, I was like, I'm done with this. I don't like the person. See, I thought that the crowd wanted me to be, the people want me to be Mr. Disrespectful. And back then, that's who I was. As I've matured as an adult, as a man, that's not who I am anymore. You I know what I'm saying? That. And that brought me back to a place where I didn't want to be. And uh, I didn't realize it was doing that to me till after the battle. And when I sat back and realized it, I was like, all right, it's not worth um, going back to that level. You know, that's like regressing. Well, you came so far. Yeah. Exactly. That's like regressing. Like speak, speaking, speaking, of, speaking of the person you want to be, like when I listen to the songs, to some of your songs, like, you kind of like gave fragments of your story in terms of like, which I relate to, mm-hmm. and I say this respectfully, my mom was on drugs, mm-hmm. my mom was on heroin, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, rest in peace. And I seen you talk about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and, and how she got off. I see both of my parents. Mine too. Yeah, yeah. And turned her life around. Yeah. I, and I, and I, that, that, that gives me like a relation to your whole motion even more, you know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Now, when I think about, or when you think about Gorilla Nims, like, and this is just my opinion, and you know, whatever, you know, take it, leave mm-hmm. it. When I look at a big and a pop, yeah, incredible artists, rest in peace to both of them. Um, them passing or being murdered actually mm-hmm. was a great loss to hip hop. In addition to their families, they had children and all that. So respectfully, you know, you make that known. But when I look at Big and Pac, I look at I look at the examples they were and the influences they were. Mm-hmm. And Big was phenomenal. Yeah, his flow was crazy. F- and, and Next level. Yeah, Next yeah, level. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was damn near like he was singing. Yeah, the way that. he carried it. Yeah. Pac too, in a sense. But Pac was a bigger. And forgive me. Listen, I, I'm from New York. You know what I'm saying? I love big, I love pop. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just pinpointing yeah, yeah, yeah. like the examples that I saw in the difference between them. Yeah. Big was a great artist. Pac, to me, yeah, yeah. was a bigger movement. I feel the same way. Because Pac yeah. gave him a piece of a hundred percent. He gave you a piece of himself. I've always, I've always felt that way. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and I, and I, and I, when I listen to you, I like, I've been doing this a little while. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So. I look at it like boxing too. Like I can tell where you at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can tell where you plant your feet. I yeah, can tell. Yeah, yeah. It's natural to me. Yeah. So when I hear you, I'm like, yo, this dude got more potential in his leg now. Mm-hmm. And then I listen to the balls. I don't want to drag it too long. Yeah. You get the question. Then I listen to the balls. You said a ball something like, uh, not verbatim, paraphrasing. You said something like, you know, what works for what works for me might not work for you. Yeah. 
you know, because, you know, being vulnerable, being vulnerable will make me more versatile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And I, I, I got to I gotta say, like, I, I look for you to give more. Yeah. Well, I've looked at vulnerability my whole music as career weakness. as a weakness, big time. Before big time. the music, you probably Yeah, yeah. That's in life, as a man in general, you're not... From from how I grew up, all my uncles was in jail, all my uncles robbed still. And since my father passed, those are my main influences. This dude from the street. You don't show your you can't go you can't go to the corner, hang out and be like, yo, you hurt my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's unacceptable. We just don't do that. That's not where we come from. That's a fragile. You know what I'm saying? So being vulnerable was never a strong point. In music, as I grow up. There's a strength in vulnerability. You know why? Because I've done thousands of songs. Which ones do people fuck with the most? The ones where I, I'm real as fuck and I say the shit that I don't want to say. You know what I'm saying? And those are the songs that people come up to. Why do why do we love DMX so much? Because he bears his soul. He yes. bears his soul. He cries on stage. He tells you where he was he at. He goes like this. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And DMX is in my top five. And where you gonna believe on the record? Let's get you to bed. Let's see. I want to see you bleed. Because I know when you do, it's going to be something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a Nah, there's thing. certain ones. There's certain so what ones. What I was playing earlier. What, what's the name of that joint? Um, I don't light, remember. Light, 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 what, light oh, one? Oh, Light One. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You nah, there's, there's little one. sprinkles here yeah. and there. I see it's fragmented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, testing yeah. the waters. You ain't yeah. fully comfortable yet. Yeah, no, but there's but one out of my hat called one. Fuck Your Love. Where I was just going through it, I was I was conflicted because at the time I was hustling and I had just stopped doing drugs like two three years before, so I was conflicted in that. Um, I was broke. I was just going through a breakup with a girl, and I was going through it. And I wrote the whole shit as if nobody was gonna hear it. And um, that's, that's, that's an ill perspective. I was like, yo, I'm gonna write this just to get these feelings out, cause I'm I don't I don't talk to nobody about my feelings. I don't go to therapy. I don't do none of that shit. I just I'm I'm a Isolating person, I keep to myself. I don't we need talk. hood therapy. Yeah, fact, we do need hood therapy. We need, we need hood therapy. That's so, why I'm gonna start doing that too. That's a good idea. I think I'm gonna start doing. I qualify. That's your proof of concept, right on camera. Factual, boom. Factual. So, boom. Um, I wrote the album as if nobody was ever gonna hear it, and uh, when it was done, it came. The music came out dope, and I put it out. And it's one of my favorite projects it's called "Fuck Your Love." But I get vulnerable on songs, man. I get there's little fragments. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna come when you're ready. When you come exactly. anyway. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you 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 working your way towards it, like like you said. The, uh, what's that? The it's like one, two, three, four. Light up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Light up. Yeah, yeah, yeah light up. Nah, but there's another one on my album, Gorilla Mall song called "Leave Me Alone." Where yeah. I'm actually like crying on the song, you know what I'm saying? About my pops and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you yeah. know, there's this this shit where I, where I really bared my soul on before. You know what I'm saying? I cried last night for my mother. Ain't nothing wrong with that, yes, man. Of course, everything's right with yeah, that. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't I cry for that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I go hard for lesser things. Absolutely. That's the best thing to go hard yep. for. And I cry. I cry. I cry to my peoples. And there's times I did songs where, you know, being that I had that loss, because mm -hmm. it's nothing like losing your mama. It's like a part of you dies. Mm -hmm. That you know what I'm saying, you can't get back. Yeah. That's why I always tell my people, so listen, honor your moms and all that. That's real to me. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, you know, I ain't no saint. Yeah, my name of is Tragedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Salmati. <laughs> I'm no saint. I'm not yeah. trying to be. I'm just saying, like, it's certain things that I hold sacred. A hundred percent. And and I can tell that's something you hold sacred. You gotta hold something sacred. If you don't stand with something, you fall for anything. hundred percent. And that that's a part that gives us a certain strength that we need to draw from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like now, you I ain't no fucking oracle, my dude. I'm yeah. just saying like, nah. I fucks with you. Yeah, I fucks with you. You want to do like I really fucks with you. Likewise, I I have a connection to your aura. Yeah, like you, me and you. Yo, you, you want to hear something crazy? I something. bet you don't even remember. I we I performed at the same venue as you one time, and you came up to me afterwards like, yo, I fucks with your shit, yo, and we just never got up after that. This was that was years, yeah, yeah, that was years. Like, you was kind of years was type, you was I was skinny. skinny. I was skinny. Yeah, exactly. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I'm chiseled. Yeah, yeah, I'm chiseled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's get to this what, fucking pizza, bro. Yeah, yeah, where, where was it? Where was it? It was venue? at uh, I think it was Pyramid. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Pyramid. That was Scram joint. Yeah. I remember where it was at. I remember yeah, yeah, when yeah. you go downstairs. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. But uh, see, that's why too is we should, like this the honorarium there because I watched the I watched like when we saw DMX. He said only the warriors make it back. Yep. That's I crazy. Like, I, yeah, that was hard. See, that's that's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. he hit me with that, and I was like, you know, I've been spreading that around. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and 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 it's true. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, it's true. And when I saw the climb, I was like, all right, I'm gonna keep my eye on this dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm keep my eye on this dude. Listen, when you've been to the bottom, ain't no way to go but up. You know what I'm saying? And I've been homeless. I've been sleeping on lifeguard chairs in the wintertime in Coney Island. I slept in project staircases and I slept in penthouses. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, never forget where you came from. You always got to keep it green. You know what I'm saying? And, and green berry. Yeah. That's a fact. Facts. Factual. And that's it, man. And I see you ain't forget where you came from with these pizza bites. Nah, man. Because you've mastered the pizza bites. Yeah. Not a gorilla bites. Yo, when I when I have a chick come over, she be like, yo, I be like, yo, cook for me. She be like, you never cook for me. I'm like, come on, I'm going to show you. I spice. got you. I'm gonna show you a special. And I'm gonna get and, and I'm gonna hit you raw. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Without saying, without <laughs> question. Let's do this. Let's go, let's go. Oh, Boom. Oh man. <laughs> Boom. Sprinkle it around. Okay. This sauce is a little crazy. Got too many onions, man. It might work. You gotta do it in a circular motion. You All know right. what I'm saying? Bing bong. <laughs> Excess. Boom. Sprinkle the shit. Put the cheese, get that cheese in there. Boom. So you don't put like no seasoning on it. I don't put nothing. Raw. Raw. I'm saying that. Oh man. I gotta ask anybody. I, I mean I'm good, but I, I gotta ask just in case. You, you, you know, you don't fuck with them. <laughs> you know. Yo, let me get you that. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. You know what I mean? Everything racist, but you don't fuck with niggas. You don't fuck with niggas. I know how you get down. Now, now I gotta, now I gotta throw in the comments. <laughs> I gotta throw the devil on my dick. She's getting crazy. Yeah, this is bad. This is on the child. On the child. Script. Yeah. You was about to ask him that? Yeah. You mentioned Scram Jones, right? Yeah. Scram yeah. Jones. You have a record coming out with him, right? The whole the album. This shit is yeah. phenomenal. Oh, Scram! Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, my guys are. Yup, me and Scram dropping an album called Beast Music. Mm. Um, and it should be dropping. That's soon. the actual name of his That's radio That's the name show, of his, his shit, production. everything. But it just made sense. Beast Music, Gorilla. Fuck it. This yeah, is what we doing. Sense. It made sense. And the album, to keep it real, when he hit me, I was trying to link up. I knew Scram for years. I was trying to do music with him for years. And he was doing Greenhouse. He was doing different stuff. And he was DJing at Greenhouse, yeah. Yeah, so I wasn't able to get up with him. Um, and then he hit me, and right, the, he hit me like a month after my two cousins got killed in the mm. same night. I wasn't trying when to you rap. You came back, you got off the plane. Yeah, I, he, I wasn't trying to rap, I wasn't trying to do none of that. But I also didn't want to let that opportunity go. So um, you picked yourself up. So I went there, and all the music is just aggressive, angry, and hard, because that's just how I was feeling at the that's time. Right, yeah. And it was just like, yo, it makes sense to call it beast music because this is just bringing the beast out of me, but also it provided therapy for me. And I got all those feelings out because, like I said, I wasn't talking to nobody about that. I just would literally drive what around. What do you mean an album called Hood Therapy? I'm with that. We I'm with that. Album called Hood Therapy. I'm absolutely with that. Scram Jones, I, um, that's one of my, that's one of my, that's my brother. Scram Jones, yeah, yeah, my yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was rocking with Scram. When he, when he lived in the Bronx, like right on the tip of the end of the yeah, Bronx, yeah, 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 right yeah. next to the college. I actually brought Scram Jones to Havoc because I was like, yo, Hav, you should you should put him on your team. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But Hav was doing different things. His mind was in a different, different, he had a different focus yeah, at the yeah, time. Yeah. But me and, me and Scram had a great time at Havoc's crib. Scram is great people. Great time. Great people. Yeah, he's beautiful. Yeah. He's a awesome person. That's my son, Scram Zillion. Yup. I introduced Scram to to to, uh, to Raekwon, too. Yeah, they fuck with each other hard. I brung Scram. Yeah, they did a lot I of went dope to, shit, yeah. I, I, went to, I went to Raekwon to do a feature, and I brung Scram. <laughs> and they clicked up from that, and Scram went on to do, you know. Yeah, 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 facts. Yeah, Scram is a beautiful dude, man. Let's get you these pizza bites. Yeah, I, feel like you, I feel like you stalling on the right, pizza Let's throw them in the oven. You confident? Let's go. Let's see what you got. 400 at, degrees. That's let's what it got to be on. You know what I'm saying? We throw it in the oh, oven. Wait, wait, we got a whole team here. You only making four? You only making four for right now. God damn. Fuck everybody's life. <laughs> Cheapskate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah my Gorilla guys. Twins. Gorilla Twins, the album just dropped out last year. The Wolves um, is out. Yeah, that's my shit. That's, that's, a, good, yeah, that's, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the Vinny, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't go on no tours because Corona, mm. but uh, 
When shit opens back up, we out yeah, there. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man. If they don't give it to us, we make a way, though. Facts. Everything gracious. You got the Facts. pins. You got the merch. Everything. Did That's I ask you what you was making on the merch a month? Yeah, mm-hmm. you did. All right. I didn't give you an answer, though. All right, okay. All right. I like that. Let the people wonder. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, but you got the pins. The merch is looking real gracious. I mean, you're on the page. I'm like, ah, right, you got this shit set up. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And I, I, I'm actually learning from you on mm-hmm. that. You know what I mean? I mean... Whatever you need, I got you. Factual, yeah, factual. Man. I mean, you pulled up, and that's gracious. Yeah. I want to see what your pizza bite game is. Why? Why you just? I, I thought you wasn't into health and all of that. You said wheat. Wheat. You wasn't eating wheat in the hood when you was doing that. Nah, you know why I said? Cause I don't eat healthy, so I can deal with wheat. Wheat English muffins, cause it tastes the same. So that's me being healthy. Oh shit. We're gonna have you eating vegetables. Yeah, nah, nah, We're gonna man. have you eating broccoli, nah, kale. Hell watch, watch. Kale is kale is good you throw it in the blender. Put therapy. Yeah, there we go. Alright, therapy. Fuck it. Put therapy. You're gonna be like, yo, love your life. Look at me. <laughs> love my life. You're gonna be like, yo, love your life. Now, that another thing, real quick. Yeah. Um, I love having you here, man. Good Likewise, energy. I love being here. Yo, good energy. great. Good energy. Um your merch is growing. I know it's F, you know, F, F-Y-L, Y-L, man. Yeah. but, um, Fucking life. but as your merch grows, what if you have the opportunity to get picked up? It's fix your life. Okay. F-Y-L, fuck your life, fix your life, fingering young lesbians, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fearless young lords, follow your leader. It's F-Y-L could be a million other things. Yeah. Fuck you, loser. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, you got the floor, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> I usually take yeah. the floor. You got the floor, Barry. Oh, you hit the shit. scoreboard. Yeah. It's my guy, man. I love you. Um, we gonna get back. Is that shit burning? You don't even nah, know what the nah, temperature is on. What the temperature you put your shit 400. on? 400. He just throw your shit 400 in 400 degrees like you are now. Mm, that's hard you know body. What I'm saying? That's hard body. We gonna take a break. I got I got no, no. Bing this bong. I got scrub. Shaggy Gaddafi, we on deck. We in the kitchen. The pots is, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna stop. Chazzy Gaddafi, we're back in the kitchen. Co-host, Mr. Ad, on the chat. shaking. Yeah. We got Gorilla Nems in the building. Yeah. Ain't no pots shaking. Nope. <laughs> There's no pans <laughs> <Nothing>. sizzling. <laughs> it's not even nothing in the microwave, man. This is real. It's in the oven. It's in the Everything's oven. Everything's gracious. Cooking. You know what I'm saying? Raw Gorilla got, Pizza got Bites. The Pepsi on deck. If you ain't drinking soda, you ain't living your life. Fuck your life. <laughs> Yo, Fuck I your never, liver. I never did an episode like this, so it's like Good. I'm, I'm Let's have like, fun. I thought I was gonna have you. So you yeah. trying to I, I turn the tables, man. <laughs> I change the temperature. I change the temperature. I like that. I like it. I actually like it. Um, it's an honor having you here, man. It's an honor being here, man. Um, we met years ago, like you said. Yeah, um, yeah. I remember that. He was a lot skinnier. Yup. He was real skinny. Man, skinny. I think you had a black army jacket on. Sturdy. Yeah. You know, I'm sharp like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have I'm a sp- make, you have a series called Skinny Nems, right? Uh, oh, mixtape. Yeah, I had some yeah. mixtape. Yeah, yeah. How you know that? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that the Skinny Nems. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Skinny Nems is just symbolizes when I first came out. You know what I'm saying? And how, who I was back then, which was wild. Da, 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 da. And now Gorilla Nems is when I got clean and I'm fucking fattened up. You know what I'm saying? Was 2017 or 2015? That's when we put out the mixtapes. Yeah. Because it was all like old songs. Okay. And we just put out a bunch yeah, of. Put all on one. We did four in one year. Yeah, yeah. And then the other. Uh, well, really, it was one mixtape with 50 songs. Mm. Boom. For iTunes, we just broke it up. You did 50 four. songs? No, I just, it was all old songs, like a greatest hits type shit, you know what I'm saying? Still, you have 50, that's... Yeah, yeah, facts. No, no, that, that's, that's it, like, that's a lot of work. That's a yeah, lot of work. That's, that's one of the things I was going to say, too, about ethic. you. I want to sit down and talk. Pull a piece of bites out, man. Yeah, let's I go. Can't what you said, yeah. That's just the fuck that. Yeah. Only yeah. time I ever put a glove on to pull out the pizza bites. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We got to note this. Yo. On the child, first time Gorilla Nems put a cooking glove on. So we break ground. This is the only right, time bro. I don't go raw. Is when you're pulling these out. They look, they look, they look good. good. Nah, I like to burn them a little though to keep it real. But keep right it, now, keep it raw. Yeah, right now we got wow. money. I actually want to take a bite of that. They look good. Yeah, bro, that shit is delicious. Hey, shit down, beloved. Yo, hey, you don't even need a spatula. Right in the middle. You don't even need a spatula. You just snatch it right up the joint? Put your plate out.
Tragedy Gaddafi on the child. I usually don't even say Tragedy Gaddafi. So you bring the, yeah. you know, bring the all this shit out of me. Yeah. I always be like, Tragedy or Tragedy or whatever. But more importantly, my co host, and even more importantly than that, we got the real names on yeah. the track. At the tables. At the table. And we about to break bread. My yeah. guys have made Gorilla Bites, which is pizza bites. Yeah. Made English simple. muffin pizzas, yup. And we did it with wheat, wheat English muffin. Wheat English muffin, that's the healthy side. He scraped whatever was, whatever there, yeah. scraped it off in the sink, add some sauce. Um, we didn't get the pizza sauce, they didn't have none. It's all good. All right, you sure? Yeah, no, yeah. no, it's not because you said you're not going to like it. Cause it no, I'm still so going to like it. I'm still going to like it. They look right. fucking good. They do look good. They do look good. They look, let's, let's get the pizza plate. Let's get the plate. Let's do it, man. Let's, let's fucking go. But look, it's a tradition that when you, when you eat gorilla bites, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We don't use spatulas. We don't use nothing. I don't want you touching. Yo, I'm going to touch your shit. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, let me do what? it. Let me do it. Yeah, no yeah. Because yeah. you be doing other yeah. things. Look. Yeah. Nah, he, I'm with it. Let's go. You with it? Yeah. yeah you go, bro. What's what's it? It? Bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah. They look like, they look like yeah. twins. Yeah. Almost, yeah. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Um, I'm going to try I'm fucking hungry. Let's go. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna take a sip of soda. Mmm. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, it reminds me of my childhood. Straight up. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't eat today. So it's all good anyway. No. Oh, you don't like it. No. I didn't eat, so this is gracious. Mm hmm. Um. Let's see, it's good. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's good. It's good. I ain't gonna front. So Everybody that came on the show was damn near like chefs. Uh-huh. Like, we had Lord Jamal on the show. Yeah, he told me. Um, I don't know, that motherfucker just... He did some next level shit, right? He could be a fucking chef. Saigon, Saigon crossed it too, though. Saigon too. Saigon um, crossed it. I mean, everybody was good, but everybody was just on some elaborate meal shit. I was fucked up because you know we've been trying to we've been trying to sing on mm-hmm. this for, for almost like a year. Mm-hmm. It wasn't before COVID. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's been like a year we've been sing, trying to sing on this. COVID happened. You've been moving around. You've been doing a lot of things. I've been moving around, but finally, let me take another bite. This is good. Look, I finished my shit, baby. They all good. How the fuck you do that? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I got a question. Um, 36 seasons with Ghostface. Mm-hmm. How was that when you recorded that with Cool G Rap? Like, did you guys, were you in the studio? Mm-mm. Emails? The people putting it together hit me up and they asked me, yo, you want to be on this Ghostface shit? I was like, Psh. who's that, M80? Nope. Um, <coughs> damn, my smile. All right. It's all good. I got their name. Um, But they asked me and they sent me this shit, but they shit already on it, cause it, the whole Thirty Six Seasons album was like a whole Concept. story. Yeah, it was like oh, a story. That, that, that was probably Bob Perry. Uh, Bob Perry. It was probably Bob yes. Perry. Yeah. So they, it was a whole concept. So they was like, "Yo, you gotta be the hitman. And you you want yeah. reps, hitman." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they sent me in, and I wrote it. But then afterwards, I linked with Ghost, and he was like, "Yo, you body." I met with. Cool G rap, and he was like, yo, you buy that, you know what I'm saying? So that shit. it was, it was, it Ghost was an family too, that's my family. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I heard you, I heard you speaking about that. And G rap is, G rap always been like my, like my kind of like stand it for mm-hmm. a long time. You said Ghost is that your, your first cousin? Ghost is my family, that's family. Yeah, I heard you speak about that on, uh, with, uh, what's his name? With Styles P on, on Sirius. Yeah, I was listening that's family to that right day. there, that's family, but um, this is about you. Uh-huh. Um, and I want to be clear again. The merch is taking off, and I and I, I keep coming around to this because uh-huh. it's interesting for me at least to see what you're gonna what you're gonna do. Like what's gonna be your primary focus? Because the merch is the merch is the merch is where it's at. The merch is the bread it's the bread maker, but the merch is kind of like running on its own right now because. I, I, I put so much effort into it. So now it's like a well-oiled machine. So now it's time to get back to the music. And I'm you know eating as we talk. This yeah. is on the chat. We can do yeah. that. Um, just just for, the, for the viewers out there, I believe at least, 
it's all a process. Absolutely. You wouldn't be able to push the merch the way you do without you being a compelling artist mm -hmm. and building that platform as an artist. Facts. I just think you was ingenious enough and smart enough. And sometimes shit happens out of desperation. Facts. Like a Buster Rhymes. He didn't want to leave leaders in a new school. Mm -hmm. He was ousted, and desperation sometimes causes us to, to call the lane. Absolutely. And we call the lane with this merch. It's interesting to me to see what you're going to actually do here. Mm -hmm. And it's all limited prints, right? You only do like well, a limited I, That's, that's stuff. what got the buzz up, and I was doing that. But then I brought back every design that I did, and now it's all on the website. Mm. FYL.NYC. It's not even .com. It's .NYC. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's how we keep it. And uh, it's, Let's get it's, some money together. Yeah. Anytime. All right. Yeah. Yo, 50 said, get money, I can't get none with you, then fuck you. Come on, let's you know go. what I'm saying? I'm with it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. One thing I always make sure I do as an artist, and the artist coming up as what I did, it's more important to me than accolades. More important than getting accolades is getting respected by the people I came up by, mm -hmm. who I came up listening to. That's And it's always important to pay homage to the legends, and you're a legend. That's why I like you. You know what I'm saying? Even if I have to fucking drop plans, and I'm, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you for that. I'm here. And that says a lot about you. Everybody doesn't do that. And again, I can't fault them either because everything's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's not meant for everybody to show a certain type of honor every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And some people got the fucking, some of these artists got a fucking personality of a fucking grapefruit. They can't fucking sit here and do this shit. Raw. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gorilla Bites, I'm fucking with it. Yeah. I might make this part I'm, of the I'm gonna make it. It might be part Hell of, yeah. you know, ladies it's on the dog. Yo, it's fall. nothing to just keep some English muffins. I know my daughters will love this the shit. The ingredients is, you can keep that shit in your fridge, like when you boil a, for a late night snack or something, you know what I'm saying? It don't have to be like a full entree, you know what I'm saying? It's like, whip it up, take fucking 10, 15 yeah. minutes. My kids will love this, man. Yeah. It was, the easiest, and it's it was the easiest shopping list we ever had. No, oh, <laughs> fire. Three, three motherfucking say, ingredients. You Let's understand go. certain things. Mm hmm and I can tell because you're punctual. I've seen that when people place orders, you go and personally deliver it. Absolutely. That's how I know when I call you and I'm and we've been trying to set this up. I respected the fact that like yo, I can't do it this day. I can't only do it on a Sunday because I understand that you personally deliver mm -hmm. the you know the, your your merchandise. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting it's gearing more towards the website now, mm -hmm. but the first I, I, to, it has to, to you can't yeah yeah. You can't, yeah, yeah, you can't like, you go crazy. I, like, I gave the people the chance, yo, you want to link with me, get the merch? Y'all had two, three years That was mark. That was promotion, too. Yeah, that's because the Because you buy a joint. Yeah, and you take a and picture you for the win. And you're constantly branded. 100%. You, and you buy a joint, and you're meeting me, too. Yeah. Which is a value, too. Absolutely. You understand it. That's why I love, yeah, yo. Yeah. I love that, yo. I got to, like, I don't, I'm comfortable on my own skin, so I can give you an honorarium. Yes. Cause it doesn't devalue me, and that's what we gotta do for each other as artists, Fact. especially in hip hop. Fact. We're one of the most fickle genres, absolutely twisted genres. When the Rolling Stones come in, they don't yeah. fucking hate on fucking Taro Smith. I've been saying that for years. Hip hop's the only genre that doesn't pay the proper respect to the legends. That's why I love the yeah, fact yeah. that you come this way. As I, we gotta I, change that. I gotta show you. We gotta respect. change. You, you are. Yeah, we yeah. are changing it. Yeah, that's what it's we all are changing about. it. So. Yo, we get in the bag, we get in the bag, it's heavy, we get in the place, mm -hmm. and we doing it respectfully. Facts. And we doing it on the show, and we doing it with Gorilla Nems, and fuck your life. Fuck your life. Ah, ah, fuck your liver. You know what I'm saying? But fill your life too. Fix your life. Fix your life. Yeah, choke me, I choke Fix your life. Coney yeah. Allen. Coney Allen all day. Yo, thank you guys. Hell yeah, right. thank yeah. you, bro. Yeah, it was, uh, you, you gave me overtime, so I ain't with no, OD. That's, that's why I'm in here. We're gonna do a part two, bro.